The trouble with us is our selfishness and our selfish desires. That pollutes everything. Two brothers living together, the joint family, both are married. The younger brother, the last three, four days, takes dinner at the same table, served by the same elder sister-in-law, cooked from the same kitchen. But for the last three, four days, by about twelve or one in the morning, this younger brother jumps out of bed, goes to the wash basin, and brings out the whole food. He becomes sick. One day, the, so she says, it must be indigestion. Second day, third day, fourth day. So his own wife said, I think my sister-in-law is doing some poisoning for you. So he asked her, then what am I to do? After all, he's my brother and she is my elder sister-in-law. I can't do it. She said, no, no, don't say anything. When she has placed both the plates, before your brother starts eating food, you pull his plate to you and you supply your plate to him. He did it. And the elder brother smiled. You have not left your childishness. Okay, have it. But that night also, at one o'clock, strictly he got up and vomited. He decided to go to the doctor. So he went to the general practitioner and explained that this is my symptoms. He checked up the man from top to bottom and he found that he's a hale and healthy youngster. Why, well, is nothing can happen. This doctor suddenly said, do one thing. You go to so-and-so, the dentist, and get me his certificate or his uh, opinion. The doctor made him lie down in that uh, chair and said, open the mouth. When, I, when he opened the mouth, the doctor closed his eyes, immediately turned right about turn 360 degrees. And he asked him without looking at him, Sir, please tell me, are you alive? He said, what are you talking nonsense? I am alive. Then it is a miracle. Why? Your mouth is in such a condition that another patient must die because of the poison. The whole mouth is one wound or ulcer. It is pus forming from every side. You should have died long ago. Then when he told the story, he said, Look, you have been given as fresh a food as your brother ate. But while you are eating, you yourself was poisoning your own food. And that is why it was coming out. You are a healthy man, therefore you vomited out. Another unhealthy man would have suffered and died by now. Hey? The strength in the strong or the desire that rises in you is not anything wrong. But when that Lord's desire walks through you, you yourself poison it with your attachment and your ego and selfishness. Therefore, he said, Dharma viruddho kame kama. I am the desire that rises in your bosom. When your bosom is empty of your ego and your selfishness. 